In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a video demo that you've already inserted into another project. One of the viewers of my YouTube channel had the question about uh, how to edit a video demo file as a CPVC slide once it's already been inserted into a larger project. And uh, I thought about that for a moment, realized I hadn't done that in a while. So I thought I'd share how that process works. Let me show you. Okay, for the moment, let's assume that we've already added our CPVC slide to this project here. I'll show you that process now. Word of advice is that if your CPVC project has um, been filmed at, let's say, 1920 by 1080, you're going to want to make sure that your main project that you're inserting it to is of the same aspect ratio. So in this case here, uh, I was trying to match the 627 that is the default, but of course it requires it to be a little bit wider to be 16 by 9 or HD uh, resolution here. So let's go ahead and insert our new CPVC slide. And we'll just select that from my storage drive. And there it is. And as you can see, it fits perfectly to this uh, particular size project here. Now, the question that came up, of course, was how do I edit it once I've already inserted it into my project? Well, good news is Adobe has thought of that. They figured that people might be adding uh, video demo projects to other projects, other greater projects. And we have the ability to edit video demo from our properties inspector. So I can click this edit video demo button right here, and you'll see the interface change. And uh, what we now see is pretty much the same thing that you would see if you were editing the video demo file for the very first time. So I'm just gonna choose best fit so I can see the entire project on my screen here. And you can go ahead and preview this by using the play and um, pause controls down here at the bottom until you find the part of your video that you wish to edit out. So in this case here, I'm going to wait to right about here, and this is where the edit would occur. This is where you would use the trim controls. Uh, before I was aware of trim, what I used to do is I would split it at this point and then find the end point of where I wanted to edit out and split again and simply delete that. But trim works a lot better. If I press trim here, you'll see, of course, these uh, snap trim marker to playhead position. And you can just play this back until you get to the point where you want it to be edited out. So I can snap the end marker to that position on my playhead here. Once I'm satisfied, I've selected the extraneous stuff that I want to get rid of. I can just press the trim button once again, and that stuff is now edited out. If you're satisfied with your changes, all you need to do at this point is press the exit button to be returned to your greater project. Don't forget to press save. And now we'll see the greater project with the edit already applied. And you can go ahead, continuing to work on the rest of this project. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.